A controversial bill is close to being passed in Louisiana, and many are wondering if it will be an overstep by the government. KPLC's John Kessler has more. House Bill 71 is proposing that the Ten Commandments be displayed in all Louisiana classrooms, K through 12, and in colleges and universities. Authored by Representative Jody Horton of Hofton, she says the bill's goal is to provide moral guidance to students. This, this bill just simply seeks to have a display of, of God's law in the classroom for children to see what he says is right and what he says is wrong. It deserves to be posted and to our children to see. Many have questions over the bill, such as a separation of church and state. Opponents of the bill feel this is sanctioning of religion, which the First Amendment prohibits. Parents of school children also made arguments that they should be the ones to teach their children about right versus wrong and topics of adultery and stealing. This is not a religious entity. And if we allow or continue to allow Christianity to be ever present in our schools, then we will slide down that slippery slope of dictating what people can and cannot believe. The bill requires a poster size display 11 by 14 inches of the Ten Commandments in all public classrooms. The posters would be funded by private donations and teachers wouldn't be required to teach about them. Other arguments for the bill discuss American history and that American values and law stem from the Ten Commandments. And it, it, it historically and faithfully reflects our founding fathers reliance on the Ten Commandments as the foundation of our justice system because we have problems now with uh, with lawlessness in this country and it's important to get that foundation uh, grounded in, in school early. The American Civil Liberties Union of Louisiana opposes the legislation. Some argue that there are other ways to guide students and the state has more important issues. Homeowners insurance, education, it's crumbling infrastructure. And instead, we're spending all this time debating things that are not remotely an issue. And to me, a lot of that is by design that we're spending time on cultural issues that don't affect anyone instead of examining where our money is going. In Lake Charles, John Kessler, 7 News. The House sent the bill to the Senate with an 83 to 18 vote, and it's now pending Senate referral.